Good morning, I am Claudio Lunardi, um, Professor of uh, Clinical Immunology in Verona, University of Verona, Italy, and uh, um, I am also responsible of the Autoimmune and Immunodeficiency Unit at the University Hospital in Verona. I have a presentation tomorrow uh, about uh, immune, in, autoimmunity and uh, infection and uh, immunodeficiency. And um, I will talk about uh, uh, two main aspects, let's say. Uh, one is the presence uh, of autoimmunity in uh, immunodeficient uh, with subjects, patients with primary immunodeficiency. And this is uh, quite a contradiction in the sense that uh, immunodeficiency is uh, 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 our immune system which is not able to answer properly to infectious agents, for example, or to neoplastic cells. Whereas, so it is a defective immune response, whereas autoimmunity is a hyperactive immune response. So it is quite difficult to put together these two things. And probably infection is the link or the bridge which uh, bring together these two aspects. I think that my final message will be that when uh, a rheumatologist or an autoimmunologist see a patient with an autoimmune disease uh, has to think that this patient might have an immunodeficiency and on the other hand when a clinical immunologist is seeing a patient with a primary immunodeficiency has to search for an autoimmune disease. So I think that this is very important and we are not really um, arrived yet at that point. I would recommend to attend, uh, on the contrary, the next uh, uh, International Autoimmunity Meeting in Lisbon you know, because uh, there are so many new aspects uh, which uh, are touched uh, by this conference, uh, both as basic research, basic research and clinical and uh, therapeutical, that uh, uh, it makes this, uh, this conference a unique opportunity to, uh, to see autoimmunity in all uh, uh, its different aspects. I think that uh, a peculiarity of this conference is just to uh, encompass uh, all uh, the fields of uh, medicine from basic research to patients. So, and it is very important to um, keep in mind that uh, in our job, uh, in our uh, profession, we see patients and from patients we learn a lot and we can uh, transfer this knowledge or these questions in the lab and do basic research there and then go back to the patient. So this aspect of translational medicine is very, very important. And uh, in this conference, uh, there is the opportunity, especially for young people, for people as I said, who are biologists, for example, and don't, don't know very much about patients or about clinicians who do not do much research, to talk together and to share ideas and to start uh, uh, doing something new.